All right, now I want to show you some picking exercises that will be helpful to you in so many ways. You really need to do some time with picking exercises, okay? The uh, basic picking exercise that most everybody probably learns in one of their first lessons, and if you haven't, you really should do this, is just that you need to do almost all of your guitar playing with what's called alternate picking. And that means down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? Whenever you're picking individual notes, almost always you're going to want to be using alternate picking. Okay, so you want to get that going on. So it's just fine to just do an exercise. I'm not even holding a note here. I've got my hand on the fretboard. It doesn't matter where I put my hand. It doesn't matter if I hold notes or not. I want to get that pick going. Down up, down up, down up. Okay, you want to be able to do that on different strings as well. like that will help you out. If you take maybe two strings and go back and forth. I'm just doing four string, four strums on each note there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? That kind of thing will really help you out a lot. Okay? Now we're going to do a whole bunch more things with this. All right? An exercise that I like to do for picking, although I use a scale while doing it, it kind of gives my picking a, a, a purpose and a definition. I'm going to take basically a, a, a diatonic scale, it doesn't matter what pattern you use, it doesn't matter what scale you use, but I'm taking a diatonic pattern and I'm going to go like this. One, two, three. 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 So I'm going to do that all the way up the scale. I'm going to just play one note two times and then the third note the third strum is is the next note in the scale so we're going to play two notes in the scale three strums the first note gets two strums the second note gets one strum one two three 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 that when I do that, wherever I leave off, whether I leave off on a down stroke or an up stroke, the next one is the alternate. Okay, and that's the that's the point of this exercise, is to get yourself used to playing alternate picking even if the last stroke you did wasn't in your comfort zone. You know, most people pick all down, especially when they start guitar. Okay? Most people aren't real comfortable picking up, okay? But when you get some exercises like this going, it forces you to go ahead and do whatever the next one is. If it's supposed to be up, you do up. Okay? And, and by forcing yourself to follow the pattern, always alternate picking, it'll make you a better, a better picker. You'll be a lot more accurate with your picking. Okay? So there's that kind of thing. Picking exercise three that we're going to do is just playing a scale, I'm going to play two notes for each scale, each scale tone. Okay, but this is not a scale exercise, this is a picking exercise. I'm concentrating on what my pick is doing, okay? Now we'll do three string, three strums for each note. strums for each note. Okay? All of these kinds of exercises will help you to become far more accurate with your pick. And you know what? So much of guitar is, is just a catch-22. When you're trying to play lead guitar and your pick's not very accurate, you have to focus on hitting the right string with your pick. But as soon as you start focusing on hitting the right string with your pick, you play the wrong fret with your fret hand because you're focusing on your pick. And, it's, it's just a big catch-22. You want to smooth out everything to where they all sort of go on autopilot, and they will get there after a while, all right? So all these kind of exercises will help you to just smooth out your picking, which will in turn make your lead playing better because you aren't worrying about your picking anymore, okay? 